Hi! I'm gonna be making a Pokemon. I do that sometimes. Figured I'd make a video. Videos are useful. So here, with the help of the randompokemon.com random Pokemon generator, surprise, surprise, that's what it is, um, <coughs> I got a Glalie and a Bulldore, and we're gonna put them together because it's fun. Not really sh having a plan at the moment, but we'll figure it out. We'll start with a basic recolor because, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with this one. So, it's always a good first step. Now, I don't really do this anymore, the plotting out of the colors. But, I'll do it just, you know, because I can. And the only reason I'm putting the pink is because the Glalie is, um... It's near white. I don't want there to be any confliction. The background, because that, that's possible. Okay, Glalie appears to have five colors. Most Pokemon have a palette of four. Some of them have palettes of three. Um, it depends on what you're doing. The fan-made Gen, um, what's it called? Gen 6 sprites, because official sprites weren't made or released for those, um, they tend to not really follow this pattern, and a lot of the shading is irrational or non-existent. Um, for example, the Talonflame is, uh, it's beautiful line art, I say it every time, but it's like, I don't know, it's, it doesn't have any shading, it, it's flat, it's very, very flat. Um, the, um, like, the Malamar, which I actually used for something, like, it, it's shading is there, which I can't believe. It's, it's like, it's like the difference between this and this. This and this. It's supposed to be like this and this and then this. Like, I don't know. It's weird. It's aggravating. Not aggravating, but it's just like... Do, do you know how the spriting thing works? Like, can you see the lack of shading? I think you can. Sometimes things like this happen, where where you have more shading on one than you do of the other. Um, there are ways around it. Once I plot out all the colors, I will show you what I think I'm going to do about it. Because, again, it differs for each poke that you're using. Well, that's kind of odd. The rocks have more color variation than the bodies. It's not something you would expect. I'm distracted. I was looking at something. Because it looks kind of weird here. The gradient doesn't really make too much sense. You expect it to be a dark red, not a soft brown. Maybe I won't include that. Because looking at this rock right here, like, it kind of hurts my eyes for some reason. Speaking of eyes, and the fact that this is killing me, oh, I can see that gray. Never mind. <coughs> um, what was I about to say? I was going to say something and I forgot. Oh, well. Um, the technique I used, which I discovered recently, and it is beautiful. You put the color you want to change in color one and the color you want to make it in color 2, and you press shift, and look, I'm erasing only that color. It's beautiful. I've seen, I used to see it done before when I was a little kid and would watch videos of people spriting, and I was like, how are they doing that? And then I looked up stuff for MS Paint, because I stumbled upon a post one day on Tumblr, and I was like, that's how you do it, because it was mystifying to me as a child. Because, you know, I want to do that. It would make things so much easier. I mean, the new sprites that I made with, you know, this technique of coloring compared to the old sprites I made without the new technique of coloring, whew, it's, it's not, it's not a pleasant, yeah. I think I need to go back 
with these colors because look there's a chunk here I missed let's just redo the entire thing because I'm not really sure what on this is what color you know oh there's that okay just wanted to go over it just in case now this is probably gonna be weird yeah, because the problem is they use black, so now the entire thing is... I'm going to work around this. At that point, I could just probably do it manually. But I'm too lazy. And somehow that makes sense. Or it doesn't. I don't really care. See, that looks weird. I'm going to do something. I don't often do this, but... If it, excuse me, comes down to it, I might, because there, sometimes when you've got, like, sprites that don't have that much variation, or cases like this, see, so, you now that looks much better, I think. I don't know, that's just an opinion, I guess. Um... So there's that. The color around these eyes. I'm not saying it's pupil, but I would totally give it eyeliner. Oh, did I miss that spot down there? Or is that part of the ice? Probably part of the ice. There we go. Menacing. Brr. This is where it gets weird. What's that? Is that another gradient? That was it. Literally two pixels. Oh no, it's the teeth too. Like I'm not gonna try to add an extra gradient for that. If anything, I'm probably gonna use this color also this color that was specific because the fact that there is so few gradient you know what fine I don't, I don't care make make your teeth blue you weirdo um depending on how it comes out I might choose to undo it cause it's, it's looking pretty weird I mean at the moment it's only half colored so of course it's looking freaky but you know, it happens, whatever. I do not judge. And there's a lot of color that's not being colored, and I'm not really sure why. Okay, I'm gonna undo this slightly, because I think it's necessary. Because, um, like, I didn't realize how little of this smallest value- hold on, let me use my mouse. This smallest value that I'm covering up, right here. Hello! It's like, in two places. It's dumb, hold on, wait. Oh, I don't wanna- hmm, hold on. Sorry, the shine of the eye was done over. Careful around that. I'm gonna use a bigger brush, what am I doing? No, no, no. Hmm. <coughs> we'll try to keep the teeth clean. Because I want to. Um, you know, this looks a lot better with the shading. Because you have to sometimes combine values when you have more of one than you do of another. Like, if he had more, it wouldn't be an issue. I'm not going to add more. What? That just looked weird. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? I was saying something. <coughs> I'm gonna add more values to something. You know how impossible that would be? Not impossible, just terrible. No, I'm not. Speaking of terrible, 
I'm just gonna do this this gradient. It's fine. Yeah, it seems like there's a couple lighter pixels that weren't included for some reason. I'll get to them later. So you know, this is an outline looks much more better. Much more better. Loving the grammar, kids. Um, so yeah. A couple of these we could do manually. Because I'm not really sure what goes to what. Excuse me. He has a lot left over that's so gray. Oh, wait. No, that's not gray. What am I talking about? Um, that's black. That's dark blue. Blip, 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 blip. Blip. No, I don't want that dark blue. I want this dark blue. Everything's great. That's an eye shine. Silly filly. Okay. Recolor done. But that's not what we're doing today. Oh, hold on. This mouth still looks weird. I don't like it. Ugh. I don't remember what colors it was. I mean, it's probably black, but I don't want to have to make it manually. Because that would be irrational. On so many levels. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where there it is! print screen that because copy pasting it it comes out transparent which means that the background is black which means that it takes off the outline which even though I'm taking an inner piece I it still annoys the hell out of me and I'm not going to put myself through that emotional racket because that would be dumb very very dumb thank you sir goodbye shrink this a bit because it's a little bit outrageous we can also get rid of this whole palette thing. Okay, here we are with the mouth. I'm just gonna fill it in like this. It seems fine to me. I don't really care much. That's not the right color. There we go. Flip. Ah! I just wanted the one square. No, eh, that's fine. That's fine for me. I, I, I care less. <sighs> okay. What we're gonna do with the bowl door, since I don't really know what I want to do in terms of piece taking, I'm just gonna take random pieces separate them, and have them in a jumble, and start playing around. And be like, does this look good here? Okay. Does this look good here? Okay. And see how that goes. Okay, that's one piece dissected. I don't like taking, like, and actually moving it from the piece. I don't know why. I just like copy-pasting it more. Mainly because, like, obviously, like, I'd be cutting off, like, <laughs> type thing. So that's me seems kind of obnoxious. What's also obnoxious is that I left my door open. And I hear people are home. How lovely. I want to get up to go close it. I'm lazy. Well, we'll just hope they close it out of annoyance. Let's just hope they don't talk to me. Anyway. There's a crest. Let's take all these rocks. See, now that would be. This is really very obnoxious. Hold on. I'm not that lazy. I can take multiple pieces. Taking off all the blue. I can always add it back later, depending.
I'm not going to take that nub in the back. Doesn't seem necessary. Now, as you see, there's not much room in between these little teeth, let's call them. So I would have to go in manually and, excuse me, and tear them apart. Or I could do this, but I don't know, it seems better in terms of getting off the little squares and stuff. There you go. Who's that Pokemon? Okay, um... See, now for many reasons I would not fit. And, uh... Excuse me for a minute! <laughs> okay. It's winter! What am I gonna do? Um... Uh... Clean these are hard, though. I don't want to have to remove things. Ugh. I'm gonna have to remove things, aren't I? I'm not happy about that. I mean, I wouldn't care if it wasn't such a detailed Pokemon. I mean, look at this thing. Sirens in the background. Totally reassuring. They're probably trying to hunt me down because it's PETA. It's like animal cruelty. Like, image editing. Go see everyone that puts a dog's head on a bird's body. I don't even know what I'm rambling about now. Um... Now, whether or not I was re-recording myself, this is the sounds I would make because I am slightly psychopathic, as we all know. Okay. It sucks that you can't zoom in any more than this. Mm, that seems good for me. Good enough for me. Bald. Very bald. Ugh, that looks dumb. Hello. Hi. I want to rotate it. I want to make sure the box is square. Because otherwise it might chop pieces off. And my horns like coming off the top of his face. Yeah, looks kind of shoddy. But I could not care less. I mean, I probably could. Like little ears. Okay, so now that was undeniably stupid. Let's make it more stupid. Oh, yes, let's remove the mouth. Great idea. Make that big. Um, mm, let's just default this to black, just because I can't. Put it back to one so I don't scare myself. There's this little middle one. No, just the middle one, not the side of the other one. Play a little spider. Oh, um, I see what the problem is. Let's see how far back I can go. Oh. Shit. No! Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, it happens. Okay. Look, I made the color. I didn't even need to...
grill me now. Okay, now I have to redo that, which is okay. I'm not too angry. It happens. It happens. I've done it before. I did it just now. I will toast do it again. It happens. I'm doing this to try to calm myself down because I'm really agitated. Like, why did that happen? <laughs> you just heard me scare myself. And that was probably exactly what it looked like. Okay. Let's remove the mouth. Nah, too lazy to make it bigger. Next time I should remember to close my door. Because this feels awkward. This little chunk over here. Move these little chunks together. And the thing I was going to do... Why I stopped... Is make those... A continuity a thing. Huzzah! Continuity. Yeah. And they're like, but I don't think... Did I say something about not wanting to edit originals? Because... It's not really what I meant. Like that specific instance, like that was a really special case. The original was stupid. Eh, we'll just leave it like that. Well, let me just get a square. Okay, 32 by 32. Take that way. Rotate that way. No, you're right, it looks incredibly stupid. I'm not saying it doesn't. Nor am I trying to say it doesn't. I'm aware it does. What am I gonna do with this? Squidward. Um. Yeah, probably might have doing that. one in front of the head but behind the arm. I know what to do about that. I'm not using the rest of this. The technique I've been using recently because it works and it alleviates a lot of butt hurt. Mainly because it works. Get a, uh, dangle, I have to do the thingy. the only problem. And that wasn't even anywhere close to a problem. So I put these on where I want. Then in theory I would be like, oh no, now it's in front of the arm. Haha, <laughs> not anymore, bitches. That to me looks incredibly weird. I'm just gonna round it out. And I'm not doing any more work on this because I'm still not sure what I'm doing. Not that I, I normally know what I'm doing. Just this particular instance, I am no. Glalies are hard. <laughs> I'm just saying that. But I saw the two of them together. I was like, yes! I should do it! I'm gonna name it. What is. Th what are they? Um, A Bulldor and a Glalie? Well, I know Glalie. 
It's Boldor, right? Yeah, Boldor. Um, should make it Boldy. Lador. Lador sounds cool. Easily misheard for Plato. Yep, the ones you see here are terrible. Let's see if there are any more any redeeming ones. Uh, no, not really. Eh. A lot of these are really lazy. Some of them are nice. These two are nice. I like these two. These two are nice. I mean, it's not really much of anything. Um, that one I love. I love this one. Came out great. Um, who knows? I don't know. Eh. Everything else is just whatever, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. We're done. Yeah. Oh, I thought they said this thingy would, would go away. Bubkiss.